Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back with this problem. And uh, this problem uh, requires a, a bit of your high school mathematics coordinator knowledge. And let's see, and we have to draw first. So let's draw it, guys. And uh, let's draw the whole thing. It's a really interesting problem. If you see the ideas, the ideas involved in it are really, really intricate and delicate. So let's observe. So here the triangle has vertices, three vertices, 0, 0. 1 comma 1 and 6 aim comma 0 is the aim in can be positive or negative but it's on the x-axis you can understand let's write it let's take it positive as the moment also be negative and we take y is equal to mx line such that it divides the triangle into two if you remember that the median of a tri of the of a tri triangle divides a triangle into two the median okay the median divides it into two that means this must be the midpoint of this two of this line, right? Wherever it intersects. So therefore, this will only happen. The line y is equal to mx can only divide the line into two triangles. Even only if where it intersects, it cuts at the midpoint. And what is the midpoint? It's six m plus one by two and half. This is the midpoint, right? And and and. What happens if this is the midpoint? If this is the midpoint and y is equal to mx passes through this midpoint, it has to pass because it divides into two equal area. So let me revise why it divides into two equal area. It must be the midpoint, midpoint because the height of this is same and the basis must be equal, right? So therefore, this must be equal to this. That is the midpoint idea, right? So this is the midpoint of y is equal to mx passes through this. So if you put it, uh, that means this point satisfies the equation this. That means half must be equal to half must be equal to 6m plus 1 by 2 times m. This is x, this is y part. And solving it, we get that 6m square plus m is equal to 1. And we get 6m square minus m minus 1 is equal to 0. Super, right? And we do ask for the sum of the, all the possible values of m. Let's say the two values of m are, are alpha and beta. So we get that this is equal to m minus alpha times m minus beta is equal to 0. So if it's m minus alpha times m minus beta is equal to 0, so let's write it down. We get m square minus m by 6 minus 1 by 6 is equal to 0. And we get that m minus alpha times m minus beta is equal to 0. And what we get? We get m, m square minus alpha plus beta times n plus alpha beta is equal to 0. So if we compare that, we need to find out alpha plus beta is a value that we are looking forward to discover, right? And we get that alpha plus by comparing these two, we get that alpha plus beta is nothing but minus 1 by 6. Okay, just let me, okay, okay, it will be plus m. Yes, so it will be plus m by 6. And this will be minus alpha plus beta is equal to 6. And we get that alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by 6. And alpha plus beta is equal to minus 1 by 6. So therefore, the sum of two values of all possible values of alpha and beta, if you can observe, that if you observe this, that if you think about the diagram, why there are two possible values? Because this is one option. This is one option where they are intersecting. Other, other one option where they are intersecting is the following, where m is negative, and here it intersects. So there are two possible values, and therefore two like two possible directions of m, and hence there are two possible you know values of m for which it intersects. That's it, guys. That's it. Uh, so there's a, like a general problem for you. What if, what if you do it in the three dimensions? Would there be three possible values of m where it happens? So think about this, guys. Think about this generalization of problem. Formulate the problem in three dimensions and think about the generalization of the problem. It's a really beautiful problem. I hope you enjoyed it. Rejuvenated your uh, old uh, knowledge of coordinate geometry in high school. And yeah, that's it. And if also if you're looking forward to prepare for CMA data science and other courses do check our courses below for id jam semester science and ifm start specifically for semester science the link is given below and you can explore them
and we have a lot of free content on youtube so you can check that guys and that's it thank you for being so patient and uh, being with active with the solution and bye bye i will see you after some time and bye bye stay tuned and stay blessed and if you're liking the videos do subscribe and like and share with your friends bye bye